Nikita's annual income is 4.5 lakh rupees. She is confused whether she should file income tax return or ITR or not. This is not just Nikita's dilemma. There are a large number of people who are confused whether they should file ITR or not. Under the rules, it is mandatory for those taxpayers to file ITR whose total gross income exceeds the taxable limit. Currently, this limit is 2.5 lakh rupees. However, under this special provision, no tax is levied on income of up to 5 lakh rupees per annum. In such situation, like Nikita, most people believe that when tax is not payable, then why should they file ITR? If you also think like this, then you are wrong. If you just started your career and want to take home, car or education loan in future, then you should file ITR. Even if your annual income is not taxable, you will not suffer. Rather, it will benefit you in more than one way. Those who file ITR get a certificate from the income tax department which officially confirms how much your annual income is. A professional or business person may earn lakhs of rupees every year, but his income will be considered only when he files a return. Nowadays, most of the people use household items like cars, houses, bank or even AC fridge on loan. Any institution will sanction loan only when IT return is ensured. Obviously, banks will only sanction loans to a person who has an income. ITR is a government document illustrating your annual income. It is accepted by the all government and private financial institutions as proof of your income. If you are filing ITR, then you get loans very easily. The corona pandemic has made us realize that we never have an idea what will happen with our lives. For this reason, people are increasingly buying term insurance plan so that in the absence, the dependents do not have to beg for financial help from anyone. If you want to take large amount of term insurance plan, then companies would ask for the details of your source of income. ITR can be the strongest evidence in this scenario. Similarly, if a person dies in an accident and if the matter goes to court so that family gets compensation, in such situation, the annual average income is determined on the basis of ITR of last three years. On this basis, the family can get 10 times the cover. If the person's annual income is 10 lakh rupees, then in case of accidental death, the court can grant financial assistance of up to 1 crore rupees for the maintenance of the family. In the absence of ITR, this matter gets settled in 1 or 2 lakh rupees only. Those people whose TDS has been deducted, they can easily get back this amount by filing the return. Tax deducted at the source, TDS is deducted at 10% of the monthly income of those people who provide contract or professional services. Similarly, people working on commission basis are also paid by deducting TDS. Most of these people are those whose annual income is less than 2.5 lakh rupees. Such people can get back their money by filing the return. Financial advisor Jitendra Solanki says that it is not possible to get a government or private job looking at the rising unemployment scenario. In such situation, now a large number of people are establishing their own enterprises. For them, it is necessary to file ITR. If you want to take a contract from any government department, then ITR is asked for it. If you are thinking of going abroad, then ITR can also be asked for visa. If you initiate any big transaction, then ITR can be helpful for you. You can get the notice from the income tax department on the purchase of property or when you make any big investment. If you file ITR, then you don't have to worry. Even if you don't fall under purview of income tax and if you file the ITR, then it can benefit you in more than one way.